You want to reap where you did not sow. By Yelsa, APC, Elders, Knock, ex-president Jonathan for attempting to nominate minister for Tinubu. The stakeholders under the auspices of Bayosa APC Elders Council asked why Jonathan was angling to produce a minister after actively and openly supporting the candidate of his party, Atiku Abubakar of the PDP. Some aggrieved elders from the Bayasa State chapter of the APC have condemned alleged attempts by former President Goodluck Jonathan to nominate the state's ministerial candidates for President Bola Tinubu's cabinet. Speaking in Yenagua Bayasa State, on Tuesday, the chairman of the council, Chief Michael Ajo Mukeme, said it was wrong for Jonathan and was wrong for Jonathan to try repair he did not so. He said Jonathan was treading the path of unfairness and injustice, adding that his desperation could be likened to someone seeking to receive salaries from company A after working for company B. However, Adokeme expressed confidence that President Tinubu, as a known rewarder of hard work, would not allow a situation of monkey work baboon chop. He said, People shouldn't try to reap where they have not sown. Some of us have been here since the early days of the party when it was considered to be a taboo just by being a member. You all remember APC in Bayelsa was called either Islamic Party or Hausa Party by the same people. I mean, Jonathan and his people fast forward to the 2023 elections. President Jonathan did everything to make sure we failed, but we didn't as God would have it. What right has he to suddenly want to now nominate the minister from Bayelsa State. He was president for six years. He personally nominated dozens of ministers. Why is he now so interested in the single thing we as a party in Bayelsa want to get? Is it to truncate the APC's visible path to victory come November. It is even an aberration and very demeaning for a former president to go cap in hand begging for a ministerial slot. It ridicules and relegates the office of the president of Nigeria. He has been dubbed a statesman and hero of democracy fine and good let him continue being that and not being a statesman by day and a political lobbyist by night great so firstly with jonathan it is kind of embarrassing to be very fair um but secondly it's not surprising that APC and PDP loyalists jump from one train to another, depending on who or which party is favorable that moment. But given the fact that he was an ex president, yes, to be fair, it is very embarrassing. And for this person um, to talk about it, I mean, from their perspective, it is likely that they also want a position and they can't get it. So because they also want a position, and they're also looking to be prioritized by Tinubu to get whatever position of a minister that, you know, they're looking for, then they'd feel like, excuse me, you're not even a party member. So I think 
it makes it very extreme and yes to be fair it is quite embarrassing um for jonathan so i'm not sure how true this is but for jonathan let me even try corroborate the news because if it is true then obviously it is quite embarrassing because this is not going to be just another oh um it's not going to be just another oh you know look at you you're jumping from one party to another we we're very much used to that routine however as an ex or former president there there still has to be you know a bit of class when you when you finish or when you're done from office um and the way you carry yourself right especially you know it's the, the the person really said you're going cap in hand to somebody you tried or someone who technically you are against it's very interesting very very interesting um I don't know. I'm trying to see where Gulag Jonathan has asked for any position. But you can check for yourself and put what you think about it in the comment section below. Do not forget to like and subscribe.